much to tell you guys right now. Like, right now you're experiencing totally natural hair. And it's just looking a half up, half down. But, and it's like, I'm wearing a romper too. So I think that's pretty snazzy. And, um, what else? Oh, my makeup. Like, this is the first time I wore eyeliner in, I want to say, like, two months. I know. Pretty hard to believe. Maybe a month. But I haven't worn eyeliner in forever, so today I just tried. And you clicked on this video for a reason, because you want to find out what's in my beach bags. Let's get into the video. Poof! Okay, so to start off, I'm going to show you my beach bag. This is my bag that I take, like, everywhere when I need to like take an abundance of items this is a backpack actually handmade in Mexico um, my parents went to Mexico and this is what they brought me back and I absolutely love it but if I did not have this baby then I would you would see me taking this beach bag which is like what I use ever since I got my other one this is a Mickey Mouse beach bag that surprisingly I got at Walmart, but it is like the Disney brand, so I think I got it for a steal. But yes, so I also really like this bag, and it's kind of more practical for a beach bag, but I like this because it has like the two straps and it's like a backpack, so... Yes. Ugh. All right. So let's dive right into this baby. And like it has like this little flap at the top and then a drawstring. You may or may not be able to see that right now. Okay, so the first thing in here obviously, and it's the biggest thing in here, is a beach towel. Cause when you go to the beach and you get in the ocean, you just don't want to be like sobbing wet. So important to have snacks when you're at the beach. These are actually sunflower seeds. I've been having a sunflower seed fetish, and these are the big sunflower seeds in dill pickle. If you like pickles, then I don't actually like pickles, but I like these. But they just don't really have a pickle taste. They have like a dill taste. But I definitely recommend trying these if you are up for it. If I don't have my sunflower seeds with me, then I will also take like grapes or a healthier option. I also have my hairbrush. Oh, I'm sorry if you're like seeing this. My hair is spreading out of it everywhere. But this is the wet brush and I always have this with me. I like to carry hairbrushes with me so then I can just be like, get all the tangles out of my hair. And my last thing that's like in this like big pouch area right here is my makeup bag, but this doesn't actually have all like makeup in it because I don't take makeup to the beach. But this is a makeup bag. It says M is for makeup, and my name's Maddie, obviously. So I just think this is really cute. Again, I don't know where I got it. It was a gift from one of my very best friends. But so let's. Do, what I keep in here is my phone charger, and a lot of people are probably like, Maddie, where are you gonna freaking find the outlet on a beach? This is more like for when we go somewhere after the beach, and my phone's possibly dead and right now I just have like my little cube hooked up to it but I also need the cord for this if I'm still at the beach and my phone's dead I can just plug it into my portable charger this is the Eptec I murdered it murdered that name but I just got this on Amazon for actually really cheap I want to get a new one this one's okay but it like loses charge after so long so like I have to like charge it the day before I go or a couple hours before I go and then within those couple hours I should I need to use like all the battery that was put in here because this should still be charged from like the last time I used it but I try it and it's like not working because it just like drains out I don't know where it goes but it just comes out and then another thing I have oh my hair is on it too <laughs> lovely are just some earbuds to keep with me in case I want to just sit there and tan and listen to music. What was that? Anybody like hear something behind me because I heard something and that's really kind of scary. And I also have a hand sanitizer in here because you know me, I'm like a germaphobe. I know, it's pretty, it's, it's bad. But this is actually in the scent Perfect Beach Day 
from Bath and Body Works and it smells like coconuts and all things tropical and I love it and it cleanses my germs off my hands and that is a must. And another thing I have in here is just a hair tie and then another thing I always have with me are bobby pins and this is actually a thing full of bobby pins and I keep these with me so then when I if we're going out to eat like right after the beach and my hair looks so messy I can like just pull it up and I get like all my little flyaways pinned up so I actually look somewhat decent. And then my last thing that I have in my little makeup bag is a lip balm and this is the EOS in Sweet Mint. I put like a dent into this to me. It smells like kind of like a peppermint patty. I always keep a lip balm with me and preferably the EOS in Sweet Mint. And then I have just this last little French zip pocket right up here. So the first thing that I have in here is my clutch. And this is just like what I want to take me, like what I want to take me. Oh yeah, my clutch is going to take me somewhere. Clutch on wheels. I don't know if anybody else calls them clutches, like my little wristlet. But this is just has like some money in it, so if I see it for on the boardwalk and you know, we just want to buy some stuff obviously if I need a new pair of sunnies you know just have some money because money comes in handy a lot and then my other thing in here is my phone obviously gotta have my phone after I already like said I already have like my earbuds my phone chargers and all that I have to have my phone with me and this is the case that I have on it right now it says diamond and it's supply company I got it off of Amazon and then the last thing I have in here are just some sunnies and these are like some knockoff aviators I got from Claire's and I can just rule the world sorry about the reflection you're seeing right now but these are really dirty like I need to clean these puppies that is everything in my beach bag and I can easily fit through all of that in here but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up. So like this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below some video ideas. Like I always say, we are open for almost all video ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to Fur Fashionistas. Pretty much that just gives you a notice for when we upload a new video. And shows that you like our videos and that we are doing a good job. And don't forget to also subscribe to our vlog channel, like I say in like every video, that we don't have any vlogs up yet, but I promise you we will get some up soon. I promise. Ow. Okay, my hair is stuck in my bracelet. Mm. That felt lovely. And don't forget to um, follow my Instagram, which is BeadWayMe21. Our Instagram, which is Forever Fashionistas. I say I, I sound like I say Forever Fashionistas. It's Forever Fashionistas, like all together. And then don't forget to follow our Twitter, which is Forever Fash Forever. I'm having a hard time today with words. Um, Forever Fashionistas on Twitter, and we are in the process of getting a Snapchat. We're just, we're still kind of on the edge about that. But that will just be like for notice for when you guys, like I said, when we upload a new video or just kind of like, there'll probably be more like daily vlogs on Snapchat, like 10 second daily vlogs. Something like that, maybe. I don't really know yet. But yes, yeah, so I love you guys till the ends of the earth and I will see you all later. Bye. I'm really bad at like, not... Oh wait, I forgot to tell you, I am filming on a camera, like I got a new camera, and I am filming on it, so hopefully this is better quality for y'all. Alright, ciao, ciao, fashionistas.